The journey to buy a new car for a car enthusiast usually begins with us plotting our budget to maybe the car of our wet dreams and then prices come into play, uh, cost of ownership, prices of fuel, even the cost of the mods that you want to do to the car and then reality slaps you in the face and a more sane thought process comes to you because imagine this. Uh, You've got 9 lakhs in your bank account to buy a hatchback and you can get an Altros, mid-variant Altros at that price. You can get a mid-variant Glanza at that price. But in the second-hand market, you can get a real pocket rocket like one of these. This is a 1 litre polo with a stage 2 remap and today I'm here to convince you that why spend money on something so boring like a Glanza when you can get a stage 2 polo for pretty much the same price and trust me, you're not going to miss out on anything. Now let's talk about looks for a second because while a new car might give you all of the design elements and curves that are in fashion, they're usually most of the time pretty useless. So in the second hand market, you can actually find more enthusiasts that would appreciate the aesthetic mods that actually have a purpose in the car like lighter rims, better suspension, better rubber. For example, the previous owner of this car opted for 17 inch BBS rims and Michelin PS4 rubber which is pretty good and in terms of stance it has Eibach lowering springs and Bilstein B4 struts which not only make the car look so much better they also make the car feel and handle so much better and if you ask me I would rather have a car that looks pretty okay but goes really fast and that brings me to point number two in this price range in the new car market there is nothing that can beat this in terms of a drag race this is a fairly new car it was bought in 2020 and it is the last generation of polo to ever be produced in india it is a mark 6 shell with a couple of bumper upgrades and a euro 5 bs6 compliant one liter three cylinder engine Stock, it produced 110 bhp and 175 newton meters of torque with the help of a racing line air filter, forged blow off valve, automatic turbo back exhaust, and a stage 2 super chips remap. This now makes 147 bhp and 283 newton meters of torque. That's Virtus GT power in a polo. If this doesn't convince you that this little pocket rocket is going to obliterate anything in its price range in the new car market. I don't know what will. So let's just go for a spin and talk about point number three. Now, yes, there's no denying that newer cars come with a lot of features on the inside, like Alexa built in or uh, heads up display, mood lighting. Uh, 360 degree camera, Apple CarPlay that's wireless. Well, yes, you might have quite a lot of use for them and they might be very nice to impress your in-laws or your friends with. But most of the time, 90% of the time, the only thing I can imagine you using constantly is the sound system, which this car has a, an upgraded tweeter system and it also has wired CarPlay, which is pretty much all that you need. But why would you want all of those gimmicks when the sound can be enjoyed from the car? This is actually a really nice pocket rocket and the point of a pocket rocket is for it to be a one-time investment for it to be super versatile. You want to go get milk? Take the hot hatch. You want to go out with your girlfriend on a date? Take the hot hatch. Sunday drive with the boys? Definitely take the hot hatch. 
and when it comes to this car you definitely don't miss that cylinder that uh, previously was in the 1.2 TSI the eco box that was the 1.2 TSI was mainly designed for it to be uh, an economical and smooth driving car now this 1 liter TSI 3 cylinder was derived from an up GTI which was always designed to be a peppy car and it definitely shows it is uh, a dual overhead cam engine rather than a single overhead cam engine which was the 1.2 TSI and it is so much more peppier and more tolerable because it is so much more tolerant to more power that means that you can actually mod it to 150 bhp just like this car and 150 bhp in a car like this feels amazing because it is pretty much a ton it is 1100 kgs and it has 283 newton meters of torque and all of that torque is available at 1800 rpm which make overtaking so seamless and just so much fun when it comes to handling this Ibach and Bilstein setup is pretty much the creme de la creme that you can get in uh for the polos and it feels really nice even in the streets it's not like it's bashing you around and the 17 inch upsize is not has not ruined the ride as such but it has stiffened up quite a lot when it comes to the brakes they are still on a stock setup but i would suggest someone to always upgrade their brakes before upgrading their power figures because it's always better to be safe than sorry uh this car is for sale on tdh classifieds and i can guarantee the that pretty much the money that you save in buying this car you will be able to do a big brake kit as well for it so if you are in the market for a hatchback why don't you consider a second hand car that will put a smile on your face every time you stamp on the pedal if you think about it the polo 1 liter tsi is one of the last analog hatchbacks ever sold in india it is a shame you can't buy it anymore and that the newer generation doesn't seem like it would come to india a proper 6 speed gearbox compact dimensions and a peppy turbo engine there isn't a recipe in the current market apart from the altros i turbo which let's be real is nowhere near as good as this can give you an experience like this moreover this stage 2 setup is really potent it is really engaging to drive you can rave all you want about the n line but i won't ever adore the i20 as much as the polo simply because of the gearbox options that the i20 has so what are your thoughts do let me know if you have a counter argument i'll see you guys in the next one it's been your boy bhavneet thank you so much for watching leave a like and subscribe see you